How many colors does it take to fill in all the U.S. states? Here we have a map of the contiguous United States colored with five colors. And touching states have the same color. But can you do better? Could you do it with four? Pause the video and give it a try. Here's what I came up with. But can you do one better? Could we color all the states using only three colors? Let's pause the video and give it a try again. Don't worry if you can't do it. You probably were doing okay at first, but eventually you ran into a situation where it was impossible to not have a color touch. Here's the best I could do. As you can see, only two states need to be colored with a fourth color, Nevada and West Virginia. And if you were to remove these two states, it would be possible to color all the states using only three colors. We have another Virginia, and I never liked Vegas anyway. Actually, you could remove one state from the blue group and one state from the red group, and you could color the remaining states with only three colors. In the blue group, the states either are or are touching Nevada, and in the red group, they are either touching both Kentucky and West Virginia, or are those two states. What is different about these three states? Well, for one thing, they are all landlocked, and none of them share four corners like these guys. But what makes them different than a state like Kansas? Here are the number of states that border each state that is completely surrounded by other states and does not meet in four corners. Notice something about Nevada, Kentucky, and West Virginia? They have an odd number while all the rest have even numbers. Perhaps provided that no region is completely surrounded by an odd number of regions, then three colors would be able to color a map. Let's test this on other maps. Europe. It seems to hold. China. Looks good. Russia. Still works. Does this mean it would work for all maps? No. These maps come from a paper that I linked to which shows some situations where this does not work. As you can see, even though the regions does not fit the rule, these maps require four colors to be colored. While it is slightly disappointing that the rule does not hold for all maps, how often do you see a map that looks like the ones that disprove the rule? Not very often. In fact, they both require regions to meet in five or greater corners. And even a four corners is rare. You don't see Texas looking like this. But is there a place on Earth where countries meet in five corners? At first glance, no. But if you look closely at the Caspian Sea, you can see that it is surrounded by five countries. For coloring purposes, this is the same as if the five countries met in a five corners. If this interests you, please check out some of the links in the description. Or if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment. I linked to some Java code I wrote, which can check a map to see if it follows the rule. If you gave it one of the counterexamples, it would wrongly tell you that the map could be colored with three colors. But for any real-world map, it should provide you with the right answer.